19th of March 2018 uh, was the date that Sudan, the last male, died. It effectively meant that the northern white rhino was biologically extinct, extinct in the wild, and it was the end of the species. I started to look into it more and quiz it more. The more the news came out and the more people talked about Sudan dying and, and the horrors of it, and I actually sort of started to realise over the months that followed that very little effort had actually been made to check that there was no survivors, that there was no northern white rhinos left in the wild. The last time it had been spotted in the wild was 2009. And of course, South Sudan has had historical problems and troubles with civil wars, etc., making a search very difficult, but not impossible. And the more I thought about it, the more that I really just felt that somebody needed to look for this rhino. And we shouldn't and couldn't give up hope until that search had been done. We pulled together a small team. We travelled out to South Sudan um, with the BBC and it became more and more obvious and clear that we had to do this search. There was rumours out there that people had spotted this rhino. Even as, as, as recent as August that year, people were saying they'd seen the rhino in the wild. And these are honest people. These are, you know, herders, cattlemen, villagers. There's no way, reason or rhyme that they would want to make up this story. They honestly believe they have seen a northern white rhino. The cost of arranging this search is, is huge. It's an exceptionally remote area and the logistics are, are, are massive. Um, the South Sudanese government just simply couldn't afford to uh, do this search. And, you know, I think it's up to us as individuals, corporations, to have a moral and ethical responsibility to support these sorts of initiatives. There's priorities that the South Sudanese government need to place, unfortunately before searching for this rhino. But for the world, this rhino is critically important. So finding the rhino is just the first hurdle and obviously we'll all be tremendously excited if we are successful in the search for the northern white rhino. Um, and it will show if we do find the rhino that we should never give up hope. Until every single angle has been exhausted, we have to keep continuing to believe. Um, and I think that's the important message here is sending a message of inspiration to everybody around the world. You know, if we're successful with this, the story is don't give up, keep trying. Yeah.